Hi, this is Pavel and uh, I would like to welcome you to the part 4 of our Serendipity Booksellers uh, software development in C++. In this part, we are going to be making some decisions. So far we only have uh, the screens created, but in this video we will actually be validating some user input. So we will modify the main menu that uh, when the user enters a wrong choice, Currently our choices are 1, 2, 3 or 4, but let's say the user enters choice 5, then we will simply uh, output a message saying something like please enter a number in the range 1 through 4. We will also um, capture the input. If the input is correct within the 1, 2, 3 or 4 selection, then we will simply output for now uh, you selected item 3. and. Uh, they want us to use a switch statement uh, to capture the input for the main menu. Now for the inventory database menu screen, we're going to do the same. We validate the input. In this case, uh, there are five choices available. If the user enters something different, we will output a message saying, please enter a number in the range one through five. And again, we will capture the input using the switch statement, uh, whatever the user uh, entered if it as long as it's a correct entry and finally we'll do the same for the reports now reports has seven options so obviously we will have please enter a number in the range one through seven and we will use the switch statement to capture the item that is selected okay so here i am back in my main menu screen uh, currently all we have is the uh, the menu itself and now we are going to validate the input. The user enters input here. We have the C, uh, C in choice that the user enters and now we will validate it. So we will go and validate input. And it's a simple if statement. Um, we, we need to capture uh, one, two, three or four. So if the option or the choice the user selects is less than one, or greater than four, we will output a please enter a number in the range one through four. So the if statement will be something like this. If and the choice oops choice is less than one or the choice choice is oops, <laughs> is uh, greater than four then we will output C out and well, on a new line maybe just so it's not all crowded we will do please enter a number in the range one through four oops four not five and that's uh that's all the selection uh if it's correct now if it's not correct we will do an else so in other words, if the choice is less than one or greater than four, then we will use the uh, switch statement. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. If the choice is correct, if it's within one and four, we will use the switch statement to capture the, uh, capture the selection. This is the incorrect choice and we will output the appropriate message and else is the correct choice, one through four one through four so uh, so in an else statement we will do our switch so we will do switch and we are validating choice a variable choice so uh, we will do the case one because uh, if the user enters one that's our case one we will do our c out uh, and it's gonna say what the user selected so you eh, you selected item one and of course in the switch statement we need to break just let me indent it a little there so that's our case one i want let me put this on a new line that's yeah that's better and i'm gonna copy paste this and scroll down and just do case two case three and case four 
So this is going to be case 2, this is going to be case 3, this is going to be case 4. And it will be, obviously you selected item 2, item 3, and item 4. And that's all there is to it. If the user enters less than 1 or more than 4, or greater than 4, it's an invalid option. We will see out, please enter a number in the range 1 and 4. And if, the, if it is within 1 and 4, we will actually capture what the input is. It's, if it's 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. And um, so that's our menu. And that's uh, really all there is to it for the menu. So uh, the next, we can do the inventory. So uh, let's do the inventory menu. And it's the same thing really, uh, except now we have uh, five options, but we still have the choice. So you know what, I'm just gonna actually copy paste it. I'm gonna, it's gonna be very similar. So I'm just gonna take that, since even the variable is the same, same name, so we can, uh, we can really reuse it uh, completely. So if the choice is one through or greater than five then we will enter range one through five and all we have to do here is add a one more case in this case it's gonna be obviously case five there you go that's uh, <laughs> and it's it's done i mean uh, there's no point uh, in you know coding everything from the scratch when you already have very similar scenario in your program so just uh, reuse the code but be careful with the copy pasting so you don't forget you know uh, to change something uh, based on uh, what you actually need like you know like if I forgot to change this and it will still say one through four which would be in invalid which would be wrong for the user they would wonder why only one through four what about what happened to option five in this screen it's a valid option so that, be careful with the copy pasting but that's the inventory menu and the last thing we're gonna do is the reports they want us to do the same thing so again it's the same thing it's the same variable oops except uh, i'm sorry let me just uh, copy paste it again and it's gonna be uh, It's gonna be choices one through seven, of course, in this case. One through seven, one through seven, and we will add two more options, six and seven. There you go. So uh, there's six and there's seven. Okay, and uh, that's really uh, all for this particular exercise. So let me uh, let me build it. So we can now run it. But before we do, remember in our um, previous uh, uh, exercises, each of these uh, modules have uh, has its own uh, main method. So if I run it now, we would actually get the cashier screen because that's what we tested last time. See, this is the main. But we want to start with the main menu. That's what we are testing now. So I'm going to just simply switch them. So I'm going to make this main 5. And this is going to be our main method. So this way, uh, main menu will be the first screen that uh, pops up when the program runs for the first time. So I'm going to build it again. And uh, now when I run it, here's my main menu. And let's do cashier model module one. So let's select that. You selected item one, press any key to continue. So, but uh, we want a space there. You know, when it says, uh, again, when I show you, when I press one, it puts everything in one line, but it, it says selected number one. So that, uh, that actually is correct. But I'll just put a, a new line to it. Uh, so you know what, over here, I will do C out and the line. And uh, 
let me run it again actually i have to build it but uh i'm gonna put this in all these screens so the output is kind of not crammed in one line this just basically uh, makes a blank line okay so let's try again let's build it okay so now i can i can test my main menu so if i run it i get the the screen if i enter a correct value like let's say three it will say you selected item three which is correct now if i enter incorrect value let's say five then it should say please enter a number in range one through four and it does it says it right here so uh, the main menu is working so now we can uh, check the inventory menu uh, again i'm going to change the the main uh, this one's gonna be now main three because i want the inventory menu to be now my main screen so i can test it easily so let's build it but it should work because it's the same really the same code so just uh, with little additions so it build correctly and here's my inventory so if i enter correct value like four and it says you selected item four that's correct and if i enter incorrect value let's say six it says enter number in the range one through five and finally let's check the reports so the reports is main four so i'm just gonna switch the make this inventory menu main four and this reports will be my main method i'll build it and I run it and do the same thing just to test it i do six which is correct and it says yeah you selected item six and finally let's just enter eight and it says yeah you're strong please enter a number in the range one through seven all right so uh, this is the simple solution in this particular exercise they only wanted us to do the main screen inventory menu and reports so i'm not gonna do any other screens i'm simply following the order uh, of this exercise flows and um, the take from this uh, is that you can mix if statements with the switch statements basically like we did in our else statement we actually evaluated what the input was and we didn't need any default case uh, in our switch statement either because uh, we are taking care of all options it's either less or greater than four or it, it is one two three or four there is no nothing else you cannot have less than one or greater than four and one two three four there is no other options than that so we don't need any default case in this case all right so um this is part four and i will see you in part five take care